without a good mental wellness, you can't really approach life with a lot of positivity. When I'm not going through a good day, I don't wanna do anything. I just, I just wanna be in my bed with my phone and not speaking to anyone. But with people that make sure your feelings are heard, I feel like I can conquer the day and I can get through it with a smile on my face. I really started to see a lot of behavioral changes in our kids really when the pandemic started a few years ago. Because of the isolation that the pandemic caused, I saw a lot of depressive symptoms, anxiety, um, and just a lot of relationship issues with their peers and with their families. If I wasn't in a camp, then it would be boring just at home. I think remote learning definitely impacted a lot of the social development for kids. And something that we've been doing this summer is community circles, we've been doing pulse checks. No. I'm done. Okay, so we're going to do the SEL circle. So our first question is going to be, what do you do to relax? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like read a book or take deep breaths. I like to relax when I do yoga. And we even have scheduled writing time where kids can make a story or write about their day or add just, you know, their thoughts on paper. And it's a good way for kids to articulate what they're feeling and thinking. I really appreciate all your attention and focus. And we can really lean into our mindfulness skills of being mindful in the present moment. And then also noticing judgments, you know, those thoughts that pop up that are positive or negative and just letting them go and moving on. So, stress management. Uh, raise your hand if you have ever been so stressed that you can't do anything. Some kids, they might not feel comfortable even in their own home. They might not feel comfortable expressing their feelings at home, so they might take that out here. And the staff's job is to make sure that they get through that well. I would love if kids would leave club feeling prepared. And that manifests in a lot of different ways, but life's crazy. We all know it, we've lived through it longer than they have. And so just giving them all the tools and preparing them for all the things that can happen in their life so that they can have the best chance at navigating that. I learned that if someone gets too emotional, always try to treat them like you want to be treated. Mental wellness is the ability to cope with stress and be productive and also contribute to the community. It's like important to know like your mental state of mind and how you feel, and making sure you're okay in your mental well-being. I think it's just a, a great place for kids to be kids um, and not feel the weight of the world on their shoulders. And that's why I make sure that kids are having a good time and having fun. Because at the end of the day, that's like, that's why we're all here. Well, I hope that in the future people understand that this club is really helpful and really, it brightens people's moods. At least it did for me. It fills up my bucket. That means it makes me very happy.